Uh, I would like to present to you a new company that we founded this year, actually, uh, here in Ecuador. Uh, we hope it has a global reach. It's not public yet, so I can share uh, as much as I can, but um, it's, this is just a dream that is being uh, coded now. Uh, most of the software that I will show you now, it's already uh, in code, but as I say, we haven't officially yet launched so it's going to be um, a very beautiful surprise to, to share this with, uh, with you. Um, yeah, perhaps a little bit of a background is that we founded this uh, liberal arts college. This is a, col a micro liberal arts college in Quito, Ecuador. And when the pandemic arrived, um, one second. When the pandemic arrived, um, what we had to do was to close down our physical space. And we started to go uh, online. And it was very interesting because people from around the country wanted to attend the classes. And now because of, um, because of, of Zoom and everybody going online, we started to have students from all around the country. Then we started having students from Mexico and Peru. Uh, so so the, um, the institute started to grow. And then I thought, can I take this to a digital space? and for some very interesting medical reasons, I had to uh, get a couple of surgeries where I had to stay in my bed for a couple of months during the pandemic. And then I thought, how can I create that space that I used to have um, on the physical world into a more virtual space? And in the spirit of transformation and collaboration, we designed the new company um, named uh, Freogan, which I want to present to you now. <clears throat> so, um, very rapidly, uh, the company comes from the old English word uh, "friogan," which means to free or to liberate. It also means uh, to like, to love, and to honor. And free from the Germanic and Celtic Indo-European language means dear or beloved. So I thought I could um, put these um, these ideas at the core of the principles that we use to design the software. So Freogging is a learning platform that embodies freedom, love and friendship. I think these uh, principles uh, are able to create more cohesion at a level of interaction when coming to a virtual space. Um, and what we're trying to do is to create a software and platform that decentralizes learning and enables humans to cooperate, network, integrate relevant knowledge at large scales around the world. And how, do, how are we gonna do this? Uh, we want to be at the edge of technological design and innovation we believe in pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Um, it's very new. We just have one course that has been imparted currently. Uh, this is our team. Uh, we have a strategic advisor. We have early investors and general managers, uh, global coordinators, designers, fund managers, and the chief technology officer. Um, and well, this is the, the investment structure and people can become investors. So um, to the future of where this wants to be led to is to a cooperative, a large scale cooperative where people uh, can learn and offer their, their knowledge uh, at a global scale. So these, for instance, are not yet um, available. So we can only see this one um, <clears throat> in the learning side. And this is how the learning looks like. So you will have a bunch of different courses. These are courses that are being currently uploaded to the platform. Um, and these are courses that are uh, being imparted at the, at the foundation. So at the liberal arts college here in Ecuador. And now I want to show you how it looks like in the inside. Um, so I need to share again. So the platform looks like this. Um, once you get into the platform, you will be watching something like this. Uh, when you select one of the courses. So similar to what Nick was presenting, you will have some very general information about the objectives of the course, who's the course instructor, um, the schedule, then you can also sign in. And then you can apply, right? And you sign in with whatever account, and then you come to the course, right? Um, so things that I would like to present, perhaps the profile where you can have a place where you can have your bio. So you can edit your biography and everybody is able to see, right, what your bi biography is. Um, 
and you can also show your current projects. You can add different projects that you're working on in the spirit of uh, people being able to read uh, what are you involved in. Usually people have more than one project going on. Maybe you have a couple of companies or you're writing a couple of papers um, and you can present that to people uh, more openly. Then you can also put your information, uh, you know, the company you're working or the NGO you're working or, or the university you're working. Uh, what position do you have, the, the website, your email? So what I'm trying to do really is to make visible um, the information. And then we go to the course. So apart from being, so the learning platform um, allows you to host different courses. You can have the, write the meetings on Zoom and that's very clear. Then you have the sessions. I like this part from the sessions uh, because you can have the Zoom recording, you can have the recommended videos and the recommended literature and you can upload here as many as you, as you like, right? So each little session has its own um, microsystem. And once you complete your recordings and your literature, you can go checking that up and that works for the badges. So we really believe in badges systems and not more in uh, and eight to, one to ten or A B C D or whatever, but it's more about you know how you're completing your sessions, right? You're completing general course sessions, your code sessions, your videos, your literature, and you will be going, um, you will be adding to the percentage. And once you complete your badge, right? You complete the course, then you get your certificate. Um, <clears throat> would be available through the platform as well, and. You can also have a campfire. Well, we believe in that each one of these microsystems can have its own podcast. So people from their own course can upload podcasts. So trying to equalize the intelligence. So trying to not have these, I'm the teacher, I have the knowledge, you are the students, uh, consume the knowledge. More like we are a community, we can create our own knowledge. We can uh, interview different people from the from their own course and and have our own knowledge being created at that uh, point, you can have um, a campfire where you can discuss or ask questions to the community, uh, discuss by topics or by the most relevant information. Um, you can also share different resources, and books, white papers, PDFs, articles, um, and. This is something that I really like where we have future, future projects where the, the people that organize the content of the course or the content of the community are able to share um, different projects that they believe in. So for instance, um, right now the feature project we have is the institute that we have here. And if you like, you can connect to us, but you can also um, see the links and websites of that specific um, institution. And then later on, <clears throat> what I really find interesting, we were talking about blockchain or NFTs, is that you can become a co-investor um, or a donator or a, a participant that you say, okay, I like this feature project. I want to invest in it. Um, and later on, <clears throat> we can have uh, blockchain technology inside the all, all of these um, different transactions to make it more um, horizontal. And finally, you can have a cohort. So you can have a team where you can see a list of people. Um, you can have a to-do if you're doing different um, projects, right, with your team. Let me see if this is gonna work. Nope, sorry about that. Okay. And you can create your own meetups with your teams. Uh, for instance, uh, a list of guests from your own team uh, and at a Zoom location. But, and this is for the course setup. Lastly, I wanna show you this, um, which is the networking space. So for instance, everybody uh, in this conference or in this call can have their profiles and we can easily navigate through uh, who, who is in here, right? I can see your bio. Uh, and if I like your bio, I can send a message uh, directly from the platform and we can connect through there. 
Um, <clears throat> and if I really like it, I can uh, see the person's profile. Let me see. Well, you can go directly to the person's profile through here. Um, and you will end up in a view sort of like this one, one second. You'll end up seeing one of these views and you can network and send a message again to that to that person. Um, so that's the platform we have designed. We hope that we can make a huge cooperative where people can share their, their learning, people can host their learning and uh, we can become co-investors in our projects. I don't see uh, a, a, a new way going to the future. We cannot help each other and see, oh, this is what you're doing. Let me invest in you. Let me contact you. Let me connect with you. Um, but also at the same time, it is a learning platform. So the idea is that we are able to share our knowledge and hopefully uh, anybody can upload their course there and share the knowledge. Uh, there's things that will have to be edited for that in the sense that we need to add feedback loops and we need to add rating systems so that uh, we can create a more um, transparent uh, platform. But the idea is that you can generate your communities and, and then we want to evolve to generate um, more regional, more bioregional communities. And the last thing that I would like to share very rapidly, uh, and this is gonna be very a little bit strange because <clears throat> this is a systems map um, in, the, in the spirit of what Nick was uh, saying at the beginning. This is a theory of transformation <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> with a systems map. This is a, a causal, uh, a cause, cause and effect uh, systems map, and this shows the dynamic of the institutions. Um, this is the dynamic of our own institution. And just to be very clear on this is Friogan, the company, or, or, and this is the purpose. The purpose that we have is in yellow, and the, perp and the purpose that we have, and the way you read these maps uh, is a cause and effect. So we can start in any place, and because of the cause and effect, it will lead to different spaces. So. For us, what is very important is to create spaces that develop uh, agency and liberty of the being. Um, we want to create this uh, development to the members of the platform, the people that join the platform. Um, and then what we would like to see is that we create the space, people join the platform, then they start to develop themselves. Uh, and then people start to act on liberty and trust. Then they will start to work on the potential causes um, in their territories. Uh, if people are working in their potential causes and territories, then we will be able to visualize more active local communities. Uh, if active local communities are engaging in collaborative projects based in bioregions, then we will have regenerative projects uh, at larger scale. If we have regenerative projects at larger scale, we will have evidence of um, the benefits of these regenerative projects. And with that evidence, we can get more investments into these um, causes and territories. And with more investments, we will have more resources available to invest in our course, in our causes or territories. And then we can have um, more investment in creating these spaces that act in the spirit of agency and freedom of the being. Um, and all of these- Francisco, I, I hate to interrupt, but we're a little over 10 minutes at this point. <clears throat> okay. So all of that is the, is the purpose that we have. Uh, so it is um, a regenerative purpose that we want to bring alive through the platform. And, uh...